Hello and welcome to the Wilcom video short for the digital edition of the Embroidery Studio. Today we're going to learn how to use the graphics digitizing tool. Inside our workspace, we have the ability to use graphics digitizing tool. And this tool allows us to go in and create objects on the screen. Uh, that we can stitch just provides a simpler way to create these shapes for us in the Wilcom Embroidery Studio digital edition of the software. And we'll start with our digitize open shape tool. This particular tool here allows us to go in and do an outline. So if I select it here like this, I'm able to go in and draw an outline around a shape like you see here and press enter. What this does, this allows me to go in and create a running stitch shape that you see here. And not only can you create a running stitch shape with this, you can also go in, we have the ability to also go in and create a vectorized object on the screen as well. If I navigate down to my workspace, here we have a vector outline tool as well. If I click on the vector tool, I'm also able to go in and I can draw vector lines. As I right click to do my curve points here, and as I press enter, this allows me to do a vector outline. The first item here that I did was a running stitch. We have our graphics and we also have our stitch objects that we can actually go in and create objects for digitizing inside the Wilcom Embroidery Studio digital edition of the software. The second option that we have, we have also the ability to go in and choose a close shape. We can choose the close shape based on a stitch version of it. If I select it here, I'm able to go in. Up top here, I can select my tatami stitch icon tool. So I click this tool. Now I'm able to go in. Because I have a close shape, I can start at 12 o'clock. I'll left click. I'll right click at 9 o'clock. I'll right click at 6 o'clock. And I'll right click here at 3 o'clock. And because it is a closed shape, I can close this shape by pressing enter on my keypad. And once I press enter, either it's going to automatically fill your shape or it's gonna ask you to enter your entry point, exit point, and it's gonna fill your area in just like this. At the same time, we're able to go in also and do a vectorized version of this as well. By again, just selecting the closed shape tool Navigating and choosing our vector. Inside our docker here, we can change the color here to red. And at this point here, I can also go in at 12 o'clock, right click at nine o'clock, right click at six o'clock, right click at three o'clock and press enter and enter a second time and it creates a vectorized outline. I do have the ability here also, I'm gonna navigate, I'm gonna click on my pick tool from within the object properties, I can scroll down and I have an option here to use a fill to fill this area in also, which I can then to navigate and change my color by selecting the down arrow, changing my color here also. We have the ability to go in and create the stitch version as well as the vector version of an object inside the Wilcom Embroidery Studio digital edition of the software. We also have the ability from the graphics digitizing tool to select what we call a column. Here, once selecting this item, once choosing a tatami stitch setting here or the satin setting here, if I choose satin, now this tool lets me go in and I can digitize using points and counterpoints to create an object. And once that object is completed, I can press enter and it creates the satin stitch effect inside your Wilcom Embroidery Studio software. You also have the option of using, as I select this tool, and also choosing to Tommy, using and doing the same type shape, using a different fill pattern here. This being a Tommy stitch, this being a satin stitch. Inside the graphics digitizing toolbar also, we have the ability to go in and draw shapes. Here's our rectangle shape. If I select it here, this lets me go on the screen based on the stitch type that I have selected. 
I can draw a rectangle or a square, left click, it goes in and it fills that item in. I could also do the same thing with the next tool, which is our ellipse tool. As I select it here, with the ellipse tool, I can left click it. I'm gonna press and hold my control key down here and I'll pull this out to three o'clock, I'll left click. If I want a complete circle, I can just press enter and it creates a perfect circle for me. Another tool that we have in the graphics digitizing tool, we also have the ability to go in and choose multiple type shapes here. When I choose my graphic shapes, I have the ability to go in and scroll from my list of shapes that I have here. I can select a shape. Once I select that shape, I can left click my mouse button on the screen and pull this out like this. When I'm completed, I'll left click, fills that shape in. Another tool inside the graphics digitizing toolbar that is very, very helpful uh, to us as we're working inside the Wilcom Embroidery Studio digital edition of the software. The next tool we have, we have an open hand shape. This tool lets you go in, and as I left click my mouse, I can hold my mouse button down and it lets me draw free-handed shapes like you see here. In this particular instance here, using the running stitch pattern. We also have another option here as well. Here you have the closed shape version of this. If I left click, this lets me go in and draw. And this operates as a closed shape item that we could actually go in and apply this object on the screen as we see here. We also have the ability to go in, as I zoom in here, if I select an item, I'm able to go in and we have what we call a stitch angle tool. If I choose the stitch angle tool here, this lets me go in and do two reference points. As I go in and I can add angle points here for my shape appearing on my screen. This particular shape also allows me to go in. I can choose my little arrow here. This also lets me go in and remove stitch angles as well by choosing remove stitch angles. It takes me back to just a single stitch angle. And at this point, again, I have an option here to go in. I can select my little arrow here again, arrow. I can go back and I can insert multiple stitch angles like you see here. just like this. The next tool that we have that we can work with inside the graphics digitizing toolbar is we have a tool here that we call the whole tool. This allows me to go in, I can select an object on the screen as you see here, and I can apply a hole in the center of this fill just by left clicking, going directly as I zoom in inside, drawing a circle, so I press enter one, two times, it applies a hole in the middle of the fill area like you see here. So these are some of the great tools that you have available inside the graphics digitizing toolbar inside the Wilcom Embroidery Studio digital edition of the software. That's going to do it for our project for today. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you learned something today. I'll see you next time. Happy digitizing.